do have um, John uh, Pappas uh, with Geo Comply supports the bill. Uh, wishes to speak. If you can maybe just keep it to a to a couple minutes here. Chairman Weber and members of the committee, thank you for inviting me to testify. Uh, uh, Rep. Hall, your questions about geolocation are about to be answered. So I'm happy that I'm here to uh, represent uh, GeoComply. My name is John Pappas, and GeoComply is a global leader in geolocation technology. Uh, we currently support regulated online casino, poker, sports betting, lottery, advanced deposit, horse wagering, and daily fantasy sports operators in over 42 states to help ensure compliance with state and federal laws. In fact, over the past year, we've become proud partners with the Michigan Lottery to support its online system. Our company was founded solely for the purpose of delivering geolocation system to support the U.S. internet gaming market. From the company's inception, we recognize the challenge facing U.S. interstate online gaming and the need for high caliber technology to act as legal enabler and safety net for interstate online gaming. We exist to ring fence virtual borders. Our technology en enables operators and regulators to comply with the demands of federal laws such as the Wire Act, the Unlawful Internet Gambling Enforcement Act, and of course the sovereignty of states who wish to either legalize online gambling or not legalize it. It's important to note that our technology, we're not reinventing the wheel. Everyone is familiar with geolocation. Uh, we use Google Maps on our phones. If you've ever used Wi-Fi to check in on Facebook, uh, you're familiar with it. However, the big differences between those open door tools and the compliance grade geolocation is the way we interrogate the data to ensure that it is trusted and secure. We cannot simply rely on IP data to determine a player's location. We dig far deeper. Our technology analyzes data sources based on a combination of Wi-Fi, GPS, IP, Bluetooth, and the mobile device to verify a player's location. By the time GeoComply approves or denies a transaction, it will have been subjected to over 350 analytical checks to verify that only legal bets are permitted. So right now what you see on the screen here is real-time geolocation transactions happening in the state of New Jersey. I'm going to zoom in here so you can see exactly what is happening. You can see, even though it's uh, only 11.30 in the morning, there are a number of folks who are actively engaged in some various forms of, of internet gaming, everywhere from online poker and casino games to also sports betting, which we service in, in Michigan. So these are real-time transactions. You can see right up to the banks of the Hudson River here, where there are individuals in Manhattan seeking to place wagers, and they're being denied. In fact, we process over 10 million uh, internet uh, geolocation transactions each day worldwide, and uh, a little over a million and a half to two million every day in, in, in New Jersey. Um, so it's important to note that not only are we uh, able to prevent people on the banks of the Hudson in New York from gambling, but we're able to allow people all the way up in New Jersey to be able to wager. Um, so uh, it is both a deterrent for those who are unauthorized, but also an enabler for, for the state to ensure that we don't lose um, uh, traffic and op players who are close to the border in Michigan. For instance, uh, in a state like, in a city like Monroe, Michigan, which is close to the border, we wanna make sure that people in Monroe can, can wager online legally here, but that someone in Toledo cannot. So our technology is very precise to get up to that point. Uh, happy to answer any questions about this specific map if anyone has them, and then if not, I'll proceed and just conclude with my testimony. Um, we've built strong partnerships with iGaming operators and regulators in every state where our technology is used, and we're excited about the opportunity to extend our work here in Michigan uh, to ensure that all forms of Internet gaming are fully compliant with the demands of the law. And uh, I look forward to any of your questions about my testimony or this map. You know, that, that uh, we really appreciate your testimony, and I think the map uh, does demonstrate uh, exactly what, what you were talking about here. Do we have um, committee member questions at all? Rep. Robinson? Uh, thank you, Chairman. Um, how many people from Michigan do you anticipate hiring if um, this all goes through? I don't have answers to that question. We operate, uh, we work and support the, the existing industry here in the state. And so, you know, in the, in the effect that we can uh, enable them to operate in a compliant manner uh, and, and internet gaming is successful here, then jobs will be created. 
further questions? Uh, Vice Chair Berman. So looking at that, so thank you, uh, Chairman. Looking at the map, we see uh, things in red from yes. New York. So those are wagers that were stopped, I Correct. guess, potentially. Correct. Um, so anybody, I, I've been in Detroit before, Riverwalk, and all of a sudden my phone switches and says, welcome to Rogers Wireless. I'm sure. Like, no, I'm not in Canada, right, um, so from roaming. Is there something of if it, for somebody to appeal that decision? Or if it says I'm outside of, of Michigan, but I'm really inside of Michigan. So, it bounces so my typically what happens, our, our checks would look for all sorts of, of, of different uh, data to ensure that the player is either in fact inside the state or if they're not, then we would deny them. If they are denied, for instance, if they're running a VPN or a remote desktop, uh, which would be a prohibited software, which should not allow, uh, they would get, receive a note from the operator. So the operator would tell them, MGM or whomever would tell them, you are being denied because you are running prohibited software. You may want to check and turn that off enable to, to enable you to play. Uh, we cannot risk allowing somebody who's running a VPN to, even if they're li in Michigan, to be able to play if it's legal here because uh, the, 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 they could potentially be spoofing their location. So we look for all of those types of applications that are being used by on a device or on, on a laptop computer. Uh, we search them and if they are being used, we, we ensure that that player does not be able to place a wager in, in this in a legal state. So are, are, is it policy uh, up to the casino then if somebody tries to make a wager and they're prevented, can they just walk five feet or they walk in and then they can? Or does their account get like frozen? Um, if, there, if someone is a malicious actor uh, in seeking to, um, to do it in a, in a, in a manner that is uh, clearly illegal and they're out of state, then yes, their account will be blocked. If you're saying a person who's in state and for some reason they're being blocked for whatever reason, mm -hmm. you know, that's a great example here is there's somebody in New Jersey right now that's being blocked. The reality is they're obviously they're running some block software. We can tell that they're a software that's not permitted by our um, by our rules and regulations with with New Jersey. So they're being alerted to block that to to have that um, to remove that software from their from their phone or from their from their computer. This person's actually using a, a Mac device. We can see that here. Uh, what even what kind of device they're using? So um, to answer your question, if there was an issue where a, a legitimate player inside the state of Michigan wasn't able to access because of some geolocation issue, they could work directly with uh, the operator to resolve those issues. Thank you. All right. Any further questions? Uh, seeing none, thank you so much for your testimony. Thank, thank you. you.